and so on, and searching that in Switch Hospital. I've got some uh, responsibilities for training and developing staff. So how is this uh, going to improve surgery in Switch Hospital? Um, yeah, the, I, think, I think the way it's going to improve surgery is it's going to give a greater presence and opportunity to learn from different people and also to be able to teach more people uh, in the current environment so we can beam the images into the new simulation suite uh, in our education centre which will be able to teach medical students and junior staff about what goes on in the operating theatre large numbers and kind of a two-way communication so we can learn by talking about cases during the procedures. How does this equipment work? Can you explain a little bit about uh, the, uh, the technology behind it? Um, I mean essentially it's a, a computer with a, with a, a TV camera on it, a pretty good quality one. And what it does is it takes uh, images it's very of the operating yeah, got media controls images, images from the key guidelines and the story and data, no, data um, protection. Yeah. Yeah. We can disable those functions. Take images so. from <laughs> other equipment, <laughs> like x ray equipment, so and beam those. Yeah to another location, in this instance Strasbourg, who we've got a relationship with, uh, and then a surgeon at the other end can be involved in mentoring what is going on in theatre here. So her trainee would, would be getting uh, help and guidance from someone in Strasbourg. Can you explain what the purpose of the exercise with Strasbourg was today? Um, well, that was really to test a link with Strasbourg, uh, also to get a little bit of mentoring, um, and also the French president, Francois Hollande, was visiting, so he came and said hello on the video link, uh, so it was all quite exciting really. And what sort of uh, provisions are you making to, to use this in regular surgery in the future? Well, I think we're increasingly we're going to try and use this for all uh, surgery, certainly ones that I perform. Um, so when I'm not doing the case personally, I'm not supervising the training, I think it can work as a, an excellent tool. Um, and we're going to roll it out to uh, develop the staff grade doctors so that we can have them mentored while they uh, develop their surgical skills further. How much does this equipment cost and how many units are you expecting to have in the long run? Um, it's £70,000 which is quite reasonable I think for what, what it does. Um, at the moment we've, we're, uh, we've got a partnership agreement with the company that makes it so they're providing it to us. Uh, for free and we're trying to demonstrate it to other people in, in the UK. Um, ultimately you could have, depending on how successful this project is, you could have several of these things in a variety of operating theatres. So this equipment is stuff that we're going to be seeing more of in the future and is going to make a real difference to the way that it's yeah, the te conduct the surgery? Technology for, uh, uh, we're standing here in our simulation suite, which is recently opened. Um, so Bruce Keo is coming to do the formal opening in the next few weeks. Um, so it's a new thing. The way we train and learn uh, is changing. So there's more simulation uh, before practicing on patients, and this would be sort of an equivalent to that, would allow you to. Um, these are multiple watch surgeries and get more experience with surgeries without necessarily having to be in the operating theatre. So I think for surgeons of the future there are huge benefits potentially. Yeah,